Hi, welcome back. We're going to finish up program 10 now. We still need to determine the number of words. Words will be defined as being separated by white space or any kind of special character. A special character is defined as not being a letter, digit, or white space. If there are several white spaces and or several characters, special characters together, they should be counted as only one for the sake of counting and defining words. But all characters must be counted in the number of characters. There are many ways to approach adding up the number of words. You can do it any way that works for you. You're not required to do this in either of the following ways. The first time I did this, I converted all the special characters to spaces. Then I squashed multiple spaces to just one space. And then I used the split function. And then I used the split function on white space and used the length of the resulting list. But that's not very efficient. But I'm not grading on efficiency because this is an intro class. Word count equals zero. Then need a Boolean that says whether the previous character was an alphanumeric and started as false. Is prev alnum equal false? So I just said call it called that. Calling Booleans starting with is or has or something like that is very common. Then inside this same for loop that we had where we're adding things up. We check to see if ch is alphanumeric. And we can actually do that with an l if because we've already got our if it's uh, an end of line character and if it's up, uppercase or lowercase and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and copy that. Now that's just pseudocode, so that's not going to run if we put it in our program. But I'm going to put it in there anyway just to kind of get us going. Okay, so in here. Okay, so we need word count zero and is prev alnum above the for loop. And we already have the for loop, so we don't need that again. Now, when you want to shift everything over one, one tab, you can hold down the shift key and then press tab and it goes back one tab character. Okay, so if it's alphanumeric, so to say that, we would actually say if ch dot is alnum print print colon so now we don't need that line Oh, let's see, we need to move that to the end. Okay, so I'm going to add a comment here, keep the ch as the previous character. Okay, if the character is an alphanumeric, then we check and see, okay, alphanumeric means it's an actual character in not, in not white space or special. So if it is alphanumeric, then we need to check and see if the previous character was alphanumeric. If it was not, then it was a space or special character, which means CH is the beginning of a new word, in which case we want to add one here. Probably should put that on here. We are at the beginning of a new word. And then 
we're going to set is prev al num to true, else we're going to set the previous alphanumeric to false. Okay, we got 10 words out of that. And then we should get 171 for Jabber. Remember, we come up here, change the configuration, change that to Jabber.txt. 171. Yep. Looks like we are done. I've done everything here except the uppercase characters, which you need to do. Okay, so that should be it. You can run run this with your, uh, get the appropriate screenshots, and then you'll be ready to go.